Good morning, it's Stock Lock Sunday. <clears throat> Jason Carlson and I actually found a stock lock in a pile of other locks that was sent to me. Uh, it was identified by uh, a tag that said stock lock and it said uh, Den Brass and Bill Bacardi. Uh, at first I thought it was a challenge lock and uh, quickly picked my way into it realizing nah, it's a stock lock. It has no identifying features. I don't know how many pins are in it. I'm gonna guess five. And um, it came with no key. So let's get into it and see what's going on. It is stiff and gummy. So I'm hopeful it's not gonna be too much of a fight. The warding is a little twisty. <clears throat> if I had a key to fit it, I'd cut a key, turn it into a challenge lock. But I'm not even sure what kind of lock it is. Let's try it <clears throat> other way. It's so torn up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't seem to get the tensioner to stay in it. And then working around the boarding is not that simple. A little better, a little better. Just working my way up and down the pin stack, seeing what binds, what's already set, what's willing to move and what's open. So that is clearly open. And now we may see a cutting disaster. So. Vice out of the way, put that there. <clears throat> so Jason Elmberg made some of the coolest 3D printed material I have ever seen. I traded a few picks to him and he ends up sending me some of the most outrageous 3D printed material ever. Thank you again, good sir. All right, so let's try to get this thing open. I'm going to try to do it. Take it down Euro style. And I've used this device several times slowly becoming a little bit more adept at using it, making sure that all the pieces line up. Make sure that I have the right size follower. Well, it's close. Yep. <clears throat> It is definitely a stock lock, and that first pin barely needed to be picked. Let's see what we have here. Nice long steel and two. Yeah, this could make a really cool challenge lock. I'm gonna have to find a key for that. Wow, that could end it badly. There. 
And tweezers. So stainless steel long in one. Oh wow. Very interesting looking spool in two. I'll show it to you in a minute. And another one in three. Five. Dump springs out. I suspect all the springs are going to be the same since it is a stock lock. Yep, the rest of the springs are <clears throat> uncooperative. So, this is my contribution to Stock Lock Sunday. Get a zoom in here and uh, show off these really interesting spools. So the unnamed Euro profile lock comes with all standard pins in chambers one through five. There is a stainless steel pin in number two. And drivers, there's a stainless steel uh, drill protection pin driver in one, and these really neat, I'm not sure what kind of spools they are, uh, almost like ASA barrel spools, but different. In two, three, four, and five, all the springs are, I'm pretty sure, standard. <clears throat> Can't get the other ones out. This lock has seen better days. In the core, no mods, and a significant amount of rust on it. So there's, uh, there's my stock lock for Sunday. And uh, thanks again for, you know, letting me be part of this community and everything that it's offered. Um, I hope everybody has a spectacular Sunday. And uh, remember to keep it real, keep it legal, and go through the lock.